language for me and how a person who lives a good life. Fred, Fred did. Um, he, he was one of the most thoughtful people I've ever met, and that that probably takes in kindness too in that word. Um, for instance, on your birthday, this is this is. He would remember your birthday. This is all of his friends and, his, and employees too. I would get a card at my desk, or he, one time he dropped it at my house, a birthday card and a necktie <laughs> <laughs> that had a, that had trolleys on it. And oh, and he had a had a or has his, uh, a house in that time. and. He would let, when he wasn't there, he let our family use it for a week or two in the summer. He was very generous, uh, as best he could be, you know. So, but he would do something for everybody. He would, he would, he would take his time to find out what interests you. For instance, one day, I have a great passion for film and especially the architecture of theaters, the physical plant, like this beautiful yeah, yeah, theater, like this but more so the old movie palaces that are different from this, but still, they were an era. And they were tearing down the theater in East Liberty. They shouldn't have, but they did. And Fred knew of my passion for theaters. And one morning I came in, and on my desk was a brick. And it was a little note or something. I knew it was from Fred. And I walked in. He said, "That's for me." In Wright Theater in East Liberty, tearing down, and I picked up a brick for you. And that's what it was. That's what he did. That's how he thought of people. And other people might have gotten something else that he knew related to them. And that's living like Fred in many ways. Thinking what you can do for somebody else, and that wasn't a big thing. It didn't cost. Them anything but it's the thought that he took time when he saw that theater it reminded him of me and that's something that other people can learn by living like Fred you know I, I think that's a lesson not everybody does that but I think you can learn that